okay, this is the last unit for first semester, 7.1. Unit 7 is a lot of memorization, a lot of studying, so good luck. Um, we are going to go over the warm-ups, so go ahead and pause the video, do the warm-ups. I'll start it again after I've done all of them, and you can check your answers. Okay, for number one, three is greater than x, or x is less than three. Number two, you should have four and negative four. Number three, you should have two x minus seven. Y equals two x minus seven. If you need to pause to see how I did my work, go ahead. All right, here we go. We're going to talk about distance problems. If it says distance from home, your graph can go back down towards home. If it says total distance, your graph keeps growing, never goes back home. This is one thing you're going to have to memorize for 7.1. Write this down. I'll explain it to you. You'll see what it means when we show you the examples. So let's go ahead and write this down. Distance from home can go back towards home. Total distance never goes back towards home. Always keeps going away from home. Total distance keeps growing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Anybody know what this is right here? Anybody? Can anybody tell me what this is right here? That's the y. This is the y axis. So what's this axis here? X. The x axis. So we're still dealing with the x and the y axis. Okay. Now we're not going to be graphing points like we were before. We are going to be graphing lines to show what's going on up here in the word. So first thing you need to do is read. Today is game day for Ginger. Ginger's team is playing the Tucson Scorpions. Before getting on the bus for the game, Ginger runs the Circle K for some snacks. She returns to school and gets on the bus. The bus takes the team to Tucson. After the victory, the bus returns the team to school with a one-hour stop at Burger Queen on the way home. Sketch a graph of Ginger's afternoon, which shows the distance from school and the time. Make sure the graph is properly labeled. Okay. Distance from school, distance from home, same thing. If this had said total distance, it would be different. We'll see that in a minute. So the first thing you need to do, because it says make sure the graph is po uh, properly labeled, on the x-axis, you need to put time. Up here on the y-axis, distance from and where is she leaving distance from school? Now, if you don't have these things on the test, it is wrong, even if your graph is absolutely correct. So now we're going to graph what Ginger does. So, what happens? What does Ginger do first? Ginger runs to Circle K. So, I'm, she leaves school, right? She goes to Circle K. Does she spend any time at Circle K? What do you mean, no? She buys some snacks. She just doesn't run into the parking lot and run right back, right? She spends time at Circle K because she gets some snacks. So I have to show she spends time there by drawing a plateau. And then after she leaves Circle K, where does she go? Back to school. Now. Because this is distance from, I show her going back to school. So that's it. Circle K, buy some snacks, back to school. When she gets back to school, what happens? She gets on the bus. So she doesn't spend any time at school, does she? Gets on the bus, and where do they go? Tucson. Do they stop anywhere going to Tucson? No, they don't. Not going to Tucson. They get on the bus. They go to Tucson. Now... 
This is very important. If you're telling me this little trip right here is circle K, and then you tell me this is Tucson, I'm going to say no, no, no. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but Tucson is about an hour and a half car ride. Walking the Circle K is a lot closer than Tucson. So you have to show that. There's no specific, there's no specific length, but I need to see that this is a bigger distance. When she gets to Tucson, does she spend time in Tucson? She spends time playing a, a softball game, doesn't she? Yep. She spends some time playing her softball game. Okay? After the softball game, where does she go? Back to school. Is there any stops? Where does she stop at? Burger Queen. And then after Burger Queen, back to school. There's your graph. This is distance from, so it can go back home. See, right here, this right here is her distance from point. Distance from school. This is school. If it had been distance from home, that would be home. Because it's distance from, she can leave and go back towards her home or her school. This is Circle K. This is school in Tucson. This is Burger Queen. This is back to her school. Okay, that's all we're doing. This isn't difficult, is it? No, no. The problem is you guys won't remember these two different things. This one is the exact same thing, except, except, what's the difference? It is total distance. Total distance. Can we go back towards school or home? No, we have to keep going away. So let's see how this looks. Total distance, I now put total distance. It's the same problem, total distance from where? From school. Yeah, it's the same problem. Everything here is exactly the same. Okay? This now is total distance from school, and what always goes on the bottom? Time. These are the two things that cause you to get them wrong. You'll just put distance from school, even though it's total distance. You won't remember the differences. And because this is total distance, where's the first place Ginger goes? Where does she go first? Circle K. She goes to Circle K. Does she spend any time at Circle K? Yes. Where does she go back? Where does she go when she gets on a circle K? She goes back to school. Now, because it's total distance, she cannot go back down towards the x axis. It has to keep going away. When she gets back to school, where does she go? She gets on the bus, right? So here, I'm just going to show a short little I, I got on the bus line. Now, where does she go from there? She does. She goes to Tucson. Make sure that line is bigger than your Circle K line. Does she spend time in Tucson? Yep. After Tucson, she goes back to school, stops at Burger Queen, keeps on going back to school. This is school. This is Burger Queen. This is Tucson school. This is her school. This is Circle K. You do not have to label it like I've done. I'm only labeling it to show you the different stops. Okay. You do not label it like I've done. I'm just trying to help you see that's what these different things are. Whenever you spend time somewhere, it's going to be a plateau. Okay. Because you're not going anywhere. See, this is distance. So whenever you go somewhere, you go on here. When you're at home alone or at home, stop doing something, boom. Okay? So, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to have you guys do number three. Then I'm going to start the video again when I get the answer. 
okay, this is what your graph should look like. Notice how he goes to the gym, spends time at the gym. Right here, he is spending time at the gym. He goes back home. This is one of the most important things here. When he goes back home, he spends time at home. You have to show that. Back to the gym, stops at the store, back home. Because this is distance from, he can go back towards the x-axis. Okay, number four. We're going to come up with what this could be, okay? So let's look at it. How many stops does this person make? One. They make one stop. They go to one place. It's distance from home, so they leave their home, they go somewhere, and then they go back to their home, don't they? Okay, guys, log off. Nobody go anywhere. So, we're looking for something. We're looking for something that shows somebody leaving their home, going somewhere, and then coming back home. John returned home for his list before he went shopping. The, no. John returned home for his list would have started up here. Okay. Would have started up here, returns home for his list. That's not what's happening. John returned home immediately after arriving at the store. Go to the store, return home immediately is a peak, not a plateau. So A and B, no. John went to the store, did his shopping, returned home. That's possible, but I'll tell you right now, on these types of questions, there could be two that are really close, so you have to read them all. John went to four different, how many stores did John go to? That's not right. Both B and C are correct. We know C is correct, we know B is wrong, so the answer is C. Your job here is to pick the best one. I will tell you on the test, there are some that are real close to each other, and you just got to try to pick the best one. Now, this is total distance. So, guess what? He's leaving somewhere. We don't know where. He goes somewhere. But then right here, he could be going back to his original starting point because it's total distance. But he only goes to one store. He only goes to one place. John returned home for his list before he goes shopping? No. John returned home immediately after arriving at the store? No. That would have looked something like this. Immediately, home. Just a little tiny, total distance, it would just look like that. John went to the store, did his shopping, returned home. Uh, I guess we now know that the answer is C. It's the same question as the one before. They just wanted you to see distance from home, total distance, the difference, okay? This one's my favorite. What could this be? It's somebody going somewhere, coming back. Distance from home. So they're leaving their house, coming right back. 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 Baby Kelly runs down the block before her mother brings her back home. That would just be one peak. Baby Kelly's mother takes her for a long walk in a stroller. Baby Kelly plays for a while at the end of the driveway. Baby Kelly scoots back and forth in the driveway several times before her mother puts her in her crib. Just on a little FYI, if you have a baby, please do not let it play in the driveway. Okay? That's uh, a recipe for disaster. Babies are really small creatures, and if they're scooting back and forth in the driveway, you know, in comes Dad. Hey! Uh-oh! Yeah, that's no good. Babies don't play on driveways, okay? Let them play in the yard. Unless, of course, you park in the yard, and then don't let them play in the yard. <laughs> okay, so D is the correct answer. All right. That's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to come in and ask. Have a great day.